necessary to actually have success with a product on TikTok. Another key factor that you're going to be looking for in a product that you can sell is that it's actually being sold at a cheaper cost. The ideal selling price for a product on TikTok is around $20 to $30, which is simply because the capital that's being spent on TikTok per product isn't nearly as expensive as it is on Facebook. With that in mind, you want to make sure that you're falling in line with that price range so that customers feel comfortable actually buying from you based on the fact that you're within a price range that most users are actually purchasing at. Lastly, you want to make sure that the product has the potential to have some sort of storyline behind it that would make people want to buy it. For example, if I come over here to TikTok, and I'm literally just going to come over here to the search bar and type in TikTok made me buy it. We will run into hundreds of different products that you could be selling right now, but you will see the ones that actually have storylines behind it are going to be the ones that have the most engagement. Literally like this video right here, this video right here, and so on and so forth. You'll see the ones that actually have the best engagement are the ones that are telling stories just like these right here. Attention grabbing right from the very beginning. I honestly regret buying your product. And it's literally telling a story throughout the entire time. And these ads are way different than what you see on Facebook and you gotta treat them differently. And here's another example right here. TikTok made me buy it. I'm paranoid when someone will break in. The problem that people have. And again, shows off the product and how it solves the problem, but again, with the storyline. And I mean, look at that engagement. This thing is going crazy. Storytelling has always been a major part of marketing as this is what helps customers stay intrigued while making them relate and get sold on a product. With really only these three simple things to keep in mind while looking for a product, that means there's a ton of products up for grabs that you can sell and no reason that you can't be making money with them. But you might be asking, how do I find them? Well, we're about to get into it and so much more that you're going to need to know. But before we do, if you're someone who's looking for tailored one-on-one -on -one guidance, no matter your experience level, and looking to be grabbed by the hand with my team and I with a tailored one-on-one -on -one mentorship, reach out to me on my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton, DM me the word mentorship, or apply with the link down below for the limited spots that we have available. All right, let's go ahead and get right into it. One app that you're definitely going to want to take advantage of while looking for winning products on TikTok is called PP Ads. PP Ads is TikTok's product research app that's helped me find product after product to start selling on TikTok and can help you do the exact same thing. So if we head over here to PP Ads, you can see there's a couple different options up top from TikTok Ads Search, which is going to show you different types of ads and trends that are currently trending on the app. Then they have this product search tab right here, which is going to show you hundreds of different products that have the potential to sell. And even if you head into this section and find a product that you like, I mean, they show you all these different products. Let's say you like this one right here. I mean, it's even going to give you the store link, the product link, and show you ads that are being used for the product right now with how much engagement they have, how long they've been running, and even who they're targeting. The amount of information that you can get from this app is going to make finding winning products insanely easy for you, and we haven't even got to my favorite part yet. And they also have a section called winning products, which is going to show you everything that I just told you that the product research section shows you, but specifically for products that are working on the app right now. And the second you click on it, you can see that they're going to show you thousands of products you can be selling right now. Hey, and hint, hint, you may be seeing some of my ads right here. This is a section that I highly suggest that you use because like I always say, you should never try to reinvent the wheel, but just find out what's working already for someone else and allow it to work for you too. And let me tell you, this section is going to show you what's working. When you're actually scrolling through the section, you're going to want to look for a product that hits those points that we just talked about with it having a wow factor of being sold between $20 to $30 and have the potential to have a storyline behind it. And I like to start off with minimum 20 to 30,000 impressions. When you find a product that meets those requirements, that's when you'll want to verify that it's currently trending and getting active engagement on the post. So for example, let's go ahead and click on these shark slides right here. I mean, it's obviously showing to be very popular with 1.8 million impressions and almost 40 thousand likes there's obvious engagement behind it then you're going to want to pull up tiktok on your phone and search for that exact product so i'm literally going to come over here to tiktok go to the search bar type in shark slides and then i'm going to hit the filter button on the side and filter down by the week and this is going to allow me to see if people are actively advertising this product i mean as you can see there's people putting out ads and organic content every single day 16 hours ago 18 hours ago 39 minutes ago i mean it just keeps going on and on and on not are they just advertising it actively, but some of these are actually getting some really good engagement behind it. I mean, look at this. It has 17.3 thousand likes on it. And if you want to get started with PP ads with an absolute free trial and 20% off when you first get started, you can check out the link in my description to go ahead and get started with that today. We're about to head into running your ads, but before... 
before we do, make sure to go ahead and smash that like button if you're going to take advantage of this information that you just learned. And if you're having any confusion at all about anything I just covered, head over to my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton, DM me the word YouTube so I can reach out and help out in any way possible. Now, you've learned exactly what you should be looking for in a product that you're selling on TikTok, so it's time to get into the nitty gritty of how to actually set up your ad and start making money. In order to start running ads, you have to make sure that the back end of your Shopify and your TikTok is set up correctly. This part is very important to make sure that everything runs smoothly with the ad strategy that I'm about to show you, so make sure that you pay attention and take notes. If you don't have one open or you need to make a new one, click the link in my description for an absolute free trial with Shopify, no credit card required, and your next three months only cost you one single dollar. When you have your Shopify store account open, that's when you're going to immediately head over to your app store, search for the TikTok app, and download that sales channel to your store. So it's literally as simple as this, just come over here to apps, type in TikTok, and then you wanna go ahead and download this sales channel right here. Once you have it downloaded, you wanna make sure that it's under all your other sales channels right here. Once you've done that, this is when you're going to head over to TikTok, create a TikTok account with the same store name that you just made with your Shopify account. Again, I always suggest starting off with a general store because this is what's going to allow you to test out different products without being stuck within one niche that may not even work for you. Once you have your TikTok account set up, that's when you're gonna head over to TikTok Business Center and connect the TikTok account that you just created. It's as simple as this, literally just going over here to Google and type in TikTok Business Center. And then you wanna go ahead and click on this one right here. This is going to prompt you to turn this TikTok account into a business account, which you wanna do as that's what's gonna allow you to not only create an ad account in Pixel to run ads with, but also add your store link in your bio for customers to easily get to your store after viewing and seeing your content. First thing you wanna do is go ahead and click on create an account. And then here you can see it says create advertiser account. This is where you're gonna go ahead and sign up with your TikTok that you already just created or if you want to do it manually, you can just go ahead and enter your information right here with your email and password. Then you want to come over here to Business Center's account and create new. Go ahead and enter your business name and your time zone. Your business type, I'm an advertiser, and enter your company website and company name. And then lastly, just go ahead and add your billing information and then go ahead and click on create. Once that's created, you will see your Business Center account right here. And then on this business account, that's when you're going to want to create the ad account, which is where you're going to run the ads. And then head down and create the pixel, which is going to track the data that you obtain. So simply just go ahead and click into it. Come over here to Advertiser Account. And then Add Advertiser Account. After adding that account, you want to come down here to Pixels. And then you want to go ahead and click on Add Pixel. Right here, just simply follow the instructions that it's giving you. It's very simple and only should be a couple of clicks. But after creating your ad account and your pixel, you want to go ahead and combine the two together. So to do that, you're going to come over here to Link Assets. Click on your ad account that you just created, and then just go ahead and assign that pixel with you. This is really like a one-click process to create these, but it's very important that you do so, so that you can connect everything back on the Shopify side and start running your ad. But before you can get into running your ads, you have to do something called top up your ad account, which means load funds into your ad account so that you can start advertising. And TikTok ads is a little bit different than Facebook, as you just don't add a credit or debit card file and it just starts running. You have to load these up front. So to do that, you're gonna go ahead and click on these three dots right here and come back over here to Ads Manager. This is gonna be that Ads Manager that you just created. Go ahead and click on that account that you just made. Click on this icon right here that's gonna represent your ad account. And then you wanna come over here to Payment. And then right here is where you can go ahead and load your phone. Now you're capable of loading your ad account with whatever amount that you have available, but I do suggest that you start off with at least $100 loaded. And as your funds deplete while running your ads, you have to make sure to reload this balance because if your funds run out, your ads will be paused. Now, this may seem a little annoying, but this is a feature I can't appreciate on TikTok because it allows you to stay in control of your spend without it getting out of hand. You already know up front how much you're loading, how much you have to spend, which is another reason why I think TikTok ads is a great way for beginners to step into the e-commerce space. And then once you have everything situated on the back end, that's when we're going to head over to the front end on Shopify and finish the connection to your TikTok ad account. So to do that, you'll just come over here to your sales channels, come back over here to TikTok, and then once you get on the screen right here, you're going to go ahead and click on connect. This is going to connect your TikTok to that same business account that you just created. Once that's connected, it should look something like this. Come over here to TikTok Ads Manager, connect the account that you just created. Next thing you want to do is come over here to Data Sharing and click on Maximum. Then you'll see something down here about your pixel. Go ahead and click on that pixel that you just created and connect that as well. Click on Confirm the information you will not have to worry about and then just go ahead and click on finish setup and once that's finished you should see the screen right here you're now ready to start a campaign and grow your business on tiktok 
you're officially ready to get going. Now that you're officially set up, it's the moment you've all been waiting on, setting up and running your ads. One thing that you have to be prepared for while running TikTok ads is pushing a ton of content. You always want to make sure you have at least five pieces minimum ready to go, which is why I suggest ordering the product and having it. You can film your own content and have it ready to go anytime that you need it. I mean, I have folder after folder of content prepped and ready to test because I can't say it enough. With TikTok, you have to have content ready to go to see which form of content does the best for you, along with the fact that ads have a tendency to die a lot quicker. And even if I just click on one of these, you can see the amount of effort I put into it. I mean, just this one has 10 creatives alone. This one has like 11 creatives in it, and so on and so forth. And there's a couple forms of content that you want to make sure that you test and you have ready before you get into running ads. That's going to be the stitching method, the review method, the green screen method, voiceover method, and studio method. Look at so that's what it looks like and why it's so important to have each of these. Starting off first is the stitching method. So a stitching method is a great way to catch the attention of the customer right from the beginning because it always has some sort of wow factor right from the jump. Basically, your main focus is the first three seconds and that's what you're combining on the back end with a different advertisement. As you can see, this one definitely will catch your attention and then it goes into the actual. Next, we have the review method. and a true testimonial and other people seeing that they use it, it's always going to convince somebody more than anything else. You already know that people love to see how other people have used the product and how they honestly feel about it. This only convinces the customer even more and make them feel confident in what they're buying. This is going to be the screen, which is almost a mix of the review and the method. Entertaining content that sells as well. We got voiceover. Now voiceover content is my favorite and it's trending right now. the story method. Now the story method is what helps customers relate and stay interested in the ad to see how it ends while being sold on a product without always realizing